What's up, Top Shotters? It's Jennifer, and welcome back. Um, huge shout out to all 3.14K of you for subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about how to survive this dip. Okay, so a while back, I made a video about my top three tips for beginners. Um, and in that, I said, tip number one, believe. Tip number two, do your research. And tip number three, never lose money. Okay, so um, never lose money. Do not sell moments at a loss. If you happen to join in February and you joined, you know, during that peak and you bought a ton of moments for super high, don't sell them at a loss. You know, you're literally losing money. There's no point in doing that. And especially if you've already done your research and you believe in Dapper Labs and the team and Roham and, you know, NBA Top Shot, then you know that the moments will go back up again and you will be able to sell them when you are profitable. You just have to be willing to be patient. That's it. Okay, so super simple principle I like to follow is buy low, sell high. If you bought high, just wait until there's a new high, okay? Because then that will be considered the low, right? Um, and if you're if you're like freaking out right now, you're like, oh my God, all my moments have decreased in value. Like, this is terrible. Like, I'm literally losing money. You know, all you have to do is step away from Top Shot, okay? Step away from Top Shot and um, forget about Top Shot for just a couple weeks, you know? And, and maybe even a couple months, I don't know. But step away from Top Shot. Um, and come back in a couple weeks and, and I think you'll be profitable again in, in a couple weeks. But, um, I actually, in November and December, I really was not active on Top Shot at all. I joined in October and I had bought a lot of S1 rares. I bought, you know, a ton of packs and, um, prices were not going up in November. Prices were the same as they were in October. In fact, some of my moments had lost, decreased in value. And, um, so I just kind of stepped away. I was just like, okay, well, you know, I'll periodically check on Top Shop, but I don't need to be, you know, on here every day if, you know, there's not much happening. So if you have to step away, just step away. Um, there's no harm in doing that. And, and in fact, it's probably best for, for some of you, for your mental health, to just forget about Top Shop for a few weeks and then come back. I personally really believe in NBA Top Shot and I think that, you know, we're just scratching the surface here. I see huge potential, you know, just like I did when I joined in October and, and you know, prices were so cheap, like S1 rares were going for, you know, $10. Like people were like, well, how did you know that they were gonna be as, as much as they are now? I didn't know, but I, I believed in it and I saw the potential and I still see the potential, you know, and sometimes people, they have a hard time seeing the potential, you know, when things aren't looking too good but you know if you saw the potential you know when you were buying all those moments during uh during the pump then you should still see the potential during the dip there's no difference as far as the potential goes okay it's the it, top shot is still you know just getting started and and there's a long ways to go and um i i definitely really believe in in everything that they're doing and i have faith and i trust so Hopefully you do too, and if you don't, then you know try to learn more about about Top Shot. You know, do your research, learn about NFTs, learn about Flow, learn about what Dapper Labs has accomplished. You know, these past few years, um, learn about Crypto Kitties, all that, and you know take the time to kind of um, do your research to build up your own confidence about the product. I think that you know that's mostly what it is. It's just believing and, and to believe you just just build your confidence through more knowledge that's that's what i think anyway so um don't stress out too much about the dip it's really not the key is to just stay cool no matter what like you know stay cool when when prices are going ballistic and stay cool when prices are, are dropping like crazy you know just stay cool cool as a cucumber <laughs> easier said than done but Honestly, if you stay cool through the whole time, it's just, that's like the ideal. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm going to make a video about what I am buying as well, um, which I'll be posting tomorrow. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.